Alright, so we're going to be programming the soccer robot. This robot is going to use your remote control, and then you're going to be able to actually drive it around. So when you press up, go forward, down, goes backwards, left and right it turns, and if nothing's being pressed, it's stopped. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so just like always, we start with including the Smart Inventor library up at the top. Uh, we're going to be using the motors, so we're going to use that command, the DC motor use one. Along with that, we also have a command very similar to it for the remote control. It's smartinventor.tv remote or r e m o c o n use. Um, so that just tells us that we're going to actually be using the remote control. So that way, it gets everything all set up for us. Um, so now we'll go through and we'll work through the logic. So the first thing we need to actually do here is similar to the sensors. Is we actually need to read the remote control. So to do that, the command we use is very similar to what we do for the sensors. We save it to a variable that we're calling key data. And what we save into it is smartinventor.tv remote con data. Um, so that reads the remote control and it saves it into this variable for us to look at. So then the way that we check it is we'll do ifs just like what we normally do for sensors. We'll check to see if key data is equal, and remember when you use two equals in an if statement, if it is equal to key underscore then whichever one we want. U stands for the up, D for down, L for left, R for right, so on and so forth. So if key data is equal to key U, that means that the up button has been pressed. And in that case we want to move forward. So, this is kind of how we'll go through and um, write our code. So for the down, it's going to be the same thing, except for we're going to do key D. So we'll go through and do it for the left, and then the right. All of this should be familiar. You guys know how to do ifs. Remember reason if for the first one, else if for the middle ones, and then the last one is going to be an else. Alright, so now we got our logic all set up. So we get everything all set up, we read the remote control, and then we go through into all these if statements. So now it's just putting in the motor commands, which you guys should be familiar with. Um, you guys have done this many times. So it's just the DC motor and all that. And just like usual, you're probably going to have to adjust the left and right speeds for going forward, backwards, left, right, all that since your two motors are not going to be moving the exact same speed um, so it might have to be you know something like 60 and 50 or something like that in order to actually get it to move straight in the way you want it to uh, for the stop at the bottom what we're going to do is we're going to set them to loose uh, I think we've gone over this before but it just makes the motors coast to a stop instead of making them firmly stop this just lets it is a lot more smooth for driving um, it makes it much easier to control, but you guys can do the stop if you wish. Uh, so yeah, this program should let you use the remote control, and then you can, you know, drive a robot around and hopefully score some goals. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys learned something.